Okay, so the next mission, uh, let's go talk to the leading officer again. My crew needs training. The next one is going to be your crew management screens. Okay, so let's have a look. Giving direct orders to officers, hydrophone usage, torpedo attacks, on unescorted freighters, deck guns. So this is actually going to give us a little bit of action on this one. Okay, so we're going to hit select about 20 minutes long and uh, let's go. Make an attempt to attack the enemy shipping. I'll also teach you the basics of crew management. Okay, so let's go to World Bank. We need to restock. Show me what you got. How's our fuel? So this thing is going to be in the way here. Uh, fuel. Uh, let's just re... Oh, it's not going to let... Oh, is it going to let me? Okay, good. It will let me. Food, I think we're fine. Uh, torpedoes, we didn't use any. We should be fine. No, why does it look like this bow? It's not enough. Uh, can we do this? Should we do this? We need to do this? I don't even know. And stern. Okay. Exit. Goodbye. Uh, let's wait here. One day to load the torpedoes. I mean, if you're gonna do this, at least have like the, the torpedoes like a crane showing it coming in, right? You know? I don't know. Okay, so another U-boat sp uh, spotted some freighters at BF42, the square right here, and it's, I can't zoom out, but I'm sure it's pretty far out to see. The U-boat was coming back from mine laying assignment that wasn't armed to attack the ship. So sometimes torpedo, um, U-boats had mines on it, and it would just launch mines at the torpedo tubes, I guess. Uh, but there was no space to have torpedoes, so we'd have to lay mines, go back, and then, so couldn't attack any ships. All right, click anywhere to close. Oh yeah, we're pretty far off the coast of Brittany here. Um, in the North Atlantic. Okay, um, let's go. We're, it's going to be, ooh, it's 2,400 meters deep. Uh, two days at sea. It's going to be eight knots. It's not terribly windy. Okay, so let's, so please right click to set a course there. So again, you can do the manual kind of like this. Shift click to do that like this. You can sit, you know, it's going to, if you just click here, it's going to set a beeline course as far as I understand. You can go up the course, up the coast, I should say, like this way if you wanted to. Um, and then just here, like this, if you wanted to. Again, you can kind of set your own course. Uh, you can use all kinds of tools here to do it. Protractor, again, I don't really know how to use them, so we're just going to kind of leave it for now. But this is the kind of course I set. Hopefully, it is good. Now, let's get going. It wants us to go to, again, third speed. All ahead, uh, third, three, speed three. I don't know how, uh, again, I don't know how the, how the call would go. But there we go, and we're going to finally, it's finally going to let us uh, watch the ship go out. You see the diesel smoke coming out. Um, and you can, you can actually manually steer it by adjusting the rudder. So you can say, make your rudder 10 degrees to port. But if you have an automated port um, route set, it'll automatically steer the ship for you. But again, you could do this manually and say, you know, make your, if you're evading Destroyers in the future playthrough, which we'll see, hopefully, as part of our training, I think. We can actually manually adjust the rudder and try and evade destroyers and this and that. Uh, but let's go to the world map, and we'll kind of speed the game up. Uh, 48 speed for now, 140 speed, there we go. And we're heading out to sea. This pop-up here has come because all our crew, as you can see, except for the engine man, is sleeping. And the game automatically does this because it wants us to micromanage. So until we get to... Um, where we're going, it's gonna have everybody doing nothing, which is why, because there's nobody navigating right now, so that's why the navigation is gonna have marked as very low accuracy. Okay, here we are. Uh, we arrived at the area, which is start searching for cargo ships. Look inside the ship for a moment, and you can see the crew is already active and working on various stations on the ship. They know their tasks very well and don't need directions to perform it for most of the time. So, example, the, you, you dive underwater, the guy's gonna turn off the diesels, he's gonna turn on the battery automatically. You don't have to do that manually unless you want to. You can do it by yourself if you want to, you don't have to. Okay, for this reason, I ask your officers to leave the stations. That's why everyone's in bed. You can see, except for the engine man, because he has to maintain the engines as we came out here. Uh, we locate the cargo ships for looking for. The best way to accomplish this is by using the onboard hydrophone. It's capable of detecting ships from tens of kilometers much further than sight because sound travels extremely well underwater. Here is the microphones. They don't work on the surface. You gotta be at periscope depth minimum to, for them to work. So down we go. Periscope depth, here it is. And we're gonna go back down again. And the flag is off, thank goodness. <laughs> I don't have to go manually take it off. Otherwise, if you go underwater, it literally flaps like it's like normal on the surface. It's kind of wacky. Uh, but here we go down to periscope depth. We might as well just zoom into the ship. And Vachter is taking, yeah, he went to go uh, 
see, we go past go depth. He came over here and opened the valves. He opened the valves valves. That's what he just did. Um, so again, you, you can have the guy click on him, click valves valves manually. But again, this is the preset button. It just makes things a little bit quality of life easier. But if you want that full experience, you can get the full experience. Um, so we're just about at periscope depth. There we go, the decks are wash, and down we are. Switch to electric. Again, he will go and he'll hit the button here by himself. Okay. Hydrofoil can be manned by any officer, but radio mans excel. Select Hans Jürgen Osterman. So here's Osterman. Click the listening room. And there he goes. He's going to get up from his bunk and he's going to walk over to the radio room. And there goes the, here's the captain. Again, here's the captain's bunk right here. Uh, and everyone actually has their own bunk. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, now let's give the officer some time to listen for context. You can use time compression if you like. Um, you can uh, do this manually. So we click on the earphones. It brings us into manual mode. And you can kind of see, here's your controls here, okay? So the device is on, all right? Here is the rudder so he can see which way the ship is facing. So far, the ship is facing dead on straight, okay? Um, low frequency, medium, and high, depending on different things. There's volume. And here's the thing. You can kind of adjust. Now, I don't know... Oh, propeller noise. Okay, he found it before I had a chance to even look. Okay, whoops, sorry guys. But you can actually manually adjust that circle and you can hear which direction it's coming from. A general direction, so you can kind of steer your ship in that general direction. Anyways, uh, he found something. Okay, click contact using right mouse button to plot the course. All right, again, you can automatically right click propeller noise. It will steer the ship into this general area automatically, right? So, the, so it's a preset course. But again, you can do it yourself. So you can just click course this way myself right so let's head that direction let's make sure we're going and we are and the ship is going to head in this direction and try and find uh, a ship over here so we can speed up time a little bit as we head in this direction oh propeller noises again oh further out so we're gonna head we're gonna head this direction here let's go so there the ship's probably pretty close to being in the middle here if i had to guess we're gonna try. We're trying to intercept course, right? That's what we're trying to do. So if you click on this, so here's the the intercept. So it's, we're gonna face this way. Hang on a second. Which way is it looking? He's moving. He's looking. He's moving this way, right? I don't want to be facing away. I want to be facing kind of towards him. So let's go this way. So we're gonna turn this way and try and face this way here. So max sight is how far, max, 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 we can see the periscope. Clear sight is, oh, final smoke. A little bit closer, here it is here. So we're gonna turn this way, yeah. So if I, hit, if I click on this intercept, it puts me up here, because if the ship continues its course and I continue my course, we will meet right here, but I don't wanna meet the guy. I wanna shoot at him. So we're gonna go try and do the intercept a little bit this way. Uh, final smoke spotted, okay. So let's continue, keep going. Um, actually, let's go out to the surface. Let's see if we can actually see this funnel smoke. Hang on, which direction is it? We're this way, it's off to our port side. Port bow. Let's see, can we see anything? Oh, I think right there. It's so hard for me to see barely. I guess you guys can maybe see it, maybe not. It's right there, very faint funnel smoke. Really super, super faint. Really faint. Um, anyways, let's keep going. As we get closer, it should come. Once we get to clear sight, it should be a bit better. Okay. Shh, sailor using periscope has spotted a freighter. We can attack now. Okay, click anywhere to close. The most effective weapon at your disposal are the G7 torpedoes that you carry a 280 kilogram warhead. Aside from their sheer power, they may rip a ship apart. They usually do not reveal your position to the enemy. It is your primary weapon. Use them when you first compute a course for the torpedo. Please select Clowns Haganel before we continue. Okay, send him over to the attack periscope. Yavol. So he's going to go. So again, this is what I'm talking about, the automated. 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 Oh, there's the there it is there. You can see right there. You guys can see that the ship right on the surface right there. And it's heading this way. So you want to want to have a little bit of an intercept um, towards it. I do want to slow down. Maybe we're eight. How far away are we? Uh, have the officers selected. Click on the enemy cargo ship using the right mouse button. Torpedo course berechnet. Very good. Officer Clouds will now uh, compute the torpedo course. Okay, so click the ship here. Where is it here? There it is here. Okay, unknown ship. Um, 
again, you can do certain things. You can identify the ship if you know what the ships look like. You can plot all the things yourself. So we're going to go look at that now. Uh, but before we do the, just that, I just want to do one more thing. Let's go look at inside the ship. Hang on a sec. I do want to take um, Captain who is sleeping. I'll put him on the regular observation periscope. That's going to help. And the guy listening is going to help too. So what we can do is we go to we uh, this dude. Um, hang on a second. Let's go out of here. Just not ready just yet. Let's go back to the world map. If you click on the ship, okay, we can actually click on the targeting thing. Here's Hagenau who's doing the attack periscope. We can click on Osterman who's doing the hydrophone. And we can click on Klaus Graf who's on the regular one. And I think if you have all three of them working together, it should help speed this up slightly. Now I'm going to change my course just a little bit. I'm going to slow down also a bit. I'm going to plot... Uh, if I plot intercept, it's going to turn me this way. I'm going to kind of have my ship turned a little bit in towards him. And we'll adjust as we need to adjust as we get a bit closer. Um, okay, so let's go now to... Where is he? Here he is here. So here is this is the attack periscope, okay? So first of all, uh, we can zoom in. There is this. There is the freighter, Okay. Let's change the view. You can change it to just a zoomed in like this or just open screen. I think open screen is kind of like the best to see. Uh, seas are less than three meters, about two meters seas. So it's kind of like um, adjusting. They're kind of, you know, wishy-washy with the periscope. That's why it's saying have an engineer go adjust the dive thing to keep the ship steady. So in fact, we can do that now. If we actually we leave this, let's go back out. Um, hang on a second. Let's go to, where is he? Uh, this guy here and see if he can help with these guys here Yeah, adjust that. So let's go back now. He's gonna help with that He's gonna help with this thing here, right good now we're gonna go back to this uh, Where is he? Do we lose it? Oh, it's like yeah, the seas are like heaving out three meter seas uh, can't really see anything uh, he's there behind the waves. They're here somewhere. Um, I promise you he's here. Some, I think he's here. It's Yeah, unlocked. He's right there. It's just rough seas. I, I can see the smoke barely for a second, but it all of a sudden got really wavy. Uh, but we can do stuff like uh, Statometer tool. Statometer is a tool used to estimate distance to target. Um, use Q and E to rotate the ghost image so the sea level is on the level of the highest mast of the target ship. I can't even see the target ship because it's so rough. So I don't even know how these guys used to do this thing in rough water. Like, Do I have to go like... Yeah, I can't see anything. I really can't see anything. I'm trying to raise the scope a little bit. I don't know how much it even raises. And like I'm way above. Yeah, it's really rough, guys. I can't see anything. I guess these guys can. They're at 25% already. Um, chronometer tool, uh, estimate velocity of target. Point your periscope at the front of your image. Start the chronometer. Wait for the whole ship to get past the observation point and stop it. And that'll give you your, your estimated speed. I, I mean, like, I would kind of wish they would do this on a calmer day. The tutorial, in the very least, so I can kind of see... Unlock. Well, there it is there. So what you would do is, hang on a second. You would do like, uh, hang on. So you would uh, wait for the whole ship to get past the observation point. I mean, kind of like this. I'm not sure. I don't think I did that right. I can't see the ship to, <laughs> to do this. Okay, well, sorry guys. We're just gonna do it by itself. I can't. I can't make. I can't make out what to do here. It's too rough. I don't know how these guys uh, were able to do it, but they were uh, in these rough seas. So where's the ship here? Yeah. So um, thirty-two percent done. It, it's trying to. They've got roughly seven kilometers an hour. The ship is going. They've got a distance of about three kilometers. Where am I facing? I'm facing more or less the right direction. Um, they just have to figure out this. Oh, this direction here. They gotta figure that out. And it's going. It's thirty-eight percent. So, um, yeah, we'll do compressed time, I guess, a little bit to try and uh, speed it up. But you can see the ship here. What it looks like, the freighter. I just can't uh, unknown, but they'll identify it. I just they do everything by the again. They do everything automatically. I just I can't see it on the thing to do it. 
it's too rough. I don't know. I don't know how these guys used to do it, but let's just speed up the game a little bit. 64, 70, 80. And we might have to adjust our angle. Um, course correction a little bit as the ship. Oh, we've got a 92% accuracy. Uh, you can wait for 100. Um, click the highlighted button to open torpedo tube interface, which is the highlighted button. Oh, here it is here. Okay. So click on at least three tubes to flood them. Okay. So hang on a second. I kind of want to go look at the map on the outside as we do this. Okay. So let's flood tubes one, two, three. So we're going to actually pause the game. Hang on a second. I want to see where we are this way. I want to make sure we're kind of facing the right direction. We're going to uh, make sure we're facing the ship so we can shoot into it. Now, the, I don't know how real torpedoes worked, but in the, this game, torpedoes kind of, they do move. I don't know if it has to be like a dead-on shot, but this game, the torpedoes definitely look like they're like, they move a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, help you out a bit. I'm not sure. Okay, now wants us to do a salvo. Let's fur. And there it goes. Three torpedoes are going to launch. One, two, and then number three. There it goes. And you can kind of, uh, low air reserve. You can kind of see the, yeah, the torpedoes are there. You can kind of see the little green on the map. If you zoom into the game, you can see the trails there. Now, they kind of ply their own course, so they should intersect with the ship when it gets into the right direction. I'll get right placement. There's, it's going to take a bit of time. Yeah, there they are. You can see them a bit better now. The three green torpedoes. Um, you click on each one to um, reload, but it does take them a bit of time. Two fours flooded if I need an extra shot. Uh, but yeah, you can see, you can kind of see how the course is plotted. So when the ship comes here, the torpedoes are going to bash into it. Now, like I said, in, when we read those things about the torpedoes, a lot of them need half the distance. They need to have like 90 degree hits, a lot of them. So a lot of times you're going to get bounce offs. They're just not going to work. So the other version, though, could go down to, I think, 60 degrees, I think it said. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's change our course to, uh, in case we have to fire another torpedo, I want to make sure we're still on course. So we're going to adjust our course. Again, you could have done that manually, 10 degrees to port if you wanted to, 10 degrees to starboard, whatever you wanted to do. We're still we're still tra traveling. I slowed down a bit. Yeah, we're at uh, speed two, which is perfect. So we don't want to overtake them. There we go. So two is about to go in. Oh, you can kind of see them. So we're going to do our best to watch them as they hit, if they hit. Um, where are they? Here they here they are now. That's so. Will they hit? Will we make it? Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here's, this is what we've been waiting for. Ten seconds. Uh, the angle's a bit off. We're going to hit our target, but I don't know if it's going to explode, though. Dud! Dud! Oh, my God. They were all duds. They were all duds. Okay. Again, it automatically loaded us a new set. They were all duds. They were all dead. Now the ship is alarmed. Can you imagine three torpedoes bashed off the side of this thing? Select the ship. Yeah, I know the ship. Select the enemy ship using left mount before we proceed. Oh, there it is. Finally. Oh, my God. This game. It's, I don't know. I finally clicked on it and it worked. I'm not going to I'm not gonna argue with it. Okay, open torpedo. Um, okay. Are we facing the right direction? We are. Okay, fire. Let's go. Oh, it's flooding the tubes. Let's go. Good. Fire. Now it's firing four torpedoes. This has got to be one, two, three away. Is it going to fire number four? Four away. Okay. I'm, if, if these four more are duds, I'm going to be super pissed off. Okay. We're, we're going like a kilometer away from this guy. Slow down. We're too close. We're slowing down. Okay, good. Reload, if you can. There goes our four our four fish. Can you believe that? Three duds? Like, I, like okay, game, please. You're making me look bad here for my, my YouTube community. 
Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. Adjust course. Adjust course to try and keep ourselves in front of in front of this guy in case we have to fire again. I'm not gonna put it past the game. Half the distance. Okay. Let's go. Man, that was so anticlimactic. <laughs> All right. Here's the ship. The the alarm went. Up. They turned the alarm off. I guess they figure we're not a threat anymore. Okay. Come on, guys. Where are these fish? Here they are. Here they go. 30 seconds. Yeah, four. There's no way all four are going to be duds again. No chance. Now, I don't know if duds means because our angle was wrong. Uh, the game didn't tell me to readjust our angle. The game just said fire. If the game thought our angle was wrong, I figured it would tell us to do that, right? Because we're not exactly 90 degrees, even though the ship is now... Looks like it's maybe turning a little bit. Come on, hit. Blow up, please. Let's go. Bam! Two hits. Three hits. Oh, this thing is demolished. And the fourth one's gonna be a miss. I guess it's gonna sail. Uh, I don't know. I don't, the fourth, I don't have the fourth torpedo. I report uh, mentioned two freighters. Um, click anywhere to close. Now, um, lest anyone be nervous, usually passengers do get off. Let's come back to the surface, look around on the highlight. Okay, go back to the surface. God. Like, what a, what a, what a mission here. Okay. Uh, I don't see, it's a miss. It's the four torpedoes a miss. I don't see any, oh, there is loot, canned bread and potatoes, which you apparently can loot. I don't know. It seems kind of weird, but I don't see any lifeboats here. Anyways, let's go back to our ship. Uh, but that was that. Sorry about the duds, but, uh, and the clicking wasn't working, which is also kind of weird. But anyways, you know what we should do? What we need to do is actually go to our engine room and we need to turn on our compressors uh select klaus hagenau before we proceed okay um oh there's wreckage which you can loot but there's, oh, there's one of our torpedoes um send him to observation surroundings okay so you he wants him to go on deck okay go on deck then so hagenau is going to go up we're going to go back to our watch and there he goes uh, I can hear the compressors on, actually. It's going to fill up our air again. Oh, you know what? We'll turn on the electric one, too. Uh, Klaus Hagenau hasn't found anything yet, but it's still possible the freighter is nearby, but beyond our current sight range. Let's assign him some help. Your crew is comprised from officers like officers of Klaus Hagenau, but also regular sailors. Officers, take direct orders from me, who is like the captain, and have direct control over them. You can find the portraits of them in the bottom right. So here's our officer. This is the captain, which is me. Engine man, this is like the chief of the boat, this is the radio man, and there's the torpedo guy. Regular sailors, on the other hand, usually follow automatic schedules. They're too numerous to take orders from the captain one by one. They can also aid in the work. That's exactly what we need right now. Each officer has a few bars near his portrait. They represent the sailors assigned to the officer. Click on the uppermost bar near the officer Klaus Hagenau to assign him as many sailors as he can manage. The uppermost bar. Okay. So he's going to get two more sailors to join him on the watch. Uh, excellent. Class Hagenau has found the second cargo ship nearby. Uh, there it is. Let's get ahead of the second freighter. Click on the marked point using the right mouse button. Yes, sir. Oh, no, it'd be crazy if this torpedo actually ends up hitting that freighter. Uh, anyways, so there it is. Somewhere again off our port, I think. Where is it? Yeah, it's somewhere oh, off our the port bow, yeah. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, I can see him right there. You see the little line on top of the surface? That's where he is. All right, what are we doing here now? Let's go uh, make our speed four. Let's go. Let's go get it. We're just kind of bobbing in the water here. Let's get some speed going. Uh, and there is some value messages here we can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the ship, if we can, and have this guy work on the radio. I don't need to use the sound thing for right now. We're going to have him... Um, send radio messages because it's going to give us marks i guess deutsch marks which are going to let us buy more stuff since we used a ton of torpedoes in the last mission apparently um cued messages just send them all i don't know oh yeah we're gonna head towards this freighter and so i guess we can speed up the game a little bit as we kind of head there uh radios uh, messages are all sent okay good so we're gonna kind of yeah clear sight and as we get closer um, 
Yeah, you can really see them right there now. Let's go... Yeah, we're gonna keep going the same way, I guess. Um... Hmm, let's see if we're gonna pass him. Uh, Freighter Sparta seems to be unarmed. We will attempt to sink it using a deck gun. Select Klaus Graf. That's the captain. Okay. So put him on the gun. All right. And I'm also going to throw in some additional sailors to help him. Um, hang on a second. Get off of map mode. There he is there. Okay. So you're going to be firing that way to this guy. Now we got to slow down. Let's go down to uh, speed two. Let's slow down a bit. Yeah, here he goes. He's going to climb down the conning tower. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. This way here. Here's the crew. And they're going to load up the gun. And they're going to start firing. Okay, now... Click on the freighter using the right mouse button to fire. So this automatic fire, Empire Nomad, is the ship. And there he goes. But let's have some fun and let's actually aim and do this manually. Uh, now it's kind of far. So what I want to do is I want to bring in... Let's get a bit closer. Let's get a bit closer. Let's head towards him. We're a bit far. Okay. We're going to turn the ship into him. Uh, now, there's three kinds of ammo. HE, which is high explosive. AP and SS. I'm not sure exactly what SS means. But HE is, like, for causing fires. AP is for armor pierce for, like, a warship. I'm going to go back to uh, HE, high explosive. Because so we're trying to set this thing on fire. Uh, you can zoom in. But, again, the zoom in is just like a giant circle. It's not much you can do here. But we're going to try and fire uh, with this targeting reticle here. Uh, we got to go with the bob of the ship. Oh, missed. I can see the splash of water. Adjust, adjust to the right. Adjust, adjust, adjust. And the sound kind of, is kind of wonky. I don't know what happened there. Okay, get over to the, the right there. I can't tell if that was a hit or not. Come on, get up. Oh, that was a hit. That was definitely a hit. Yeah, in the water. Too low. I bobbed down. Okay, hang on a second. I gotta adjust my course. I'm hitting the guy. Now, again, we can do this automatic if you want to, but I think it's more fun to do this manually for sure. I must be hitting the guy. I can see the scorch marks on his ship. There we go. Now we got him. You gotta keep on hitting him now. Hmm. I think he's done. I think this guy's like done, but we're gonna keep on. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh, this is a lifeboat. Look at that. Okay. Click anywhere to close. Um, Empire Nomad sunk. Hang on a second, guys. Let's so let's just do this new little thing here. Yeah. Oh, there it is. You can see it going down. Um, lifeboat. Okay. So what do we want to do? Take them aboard. Give them supplies. We're going to uh, take them on board. Jim Dudley and Hanson Thorne looks like an officer, engineer, and uh, I'm not sure who this is, but yeah, we're going to take them both on board. And that's all you got to do is hit exit. And we took them. And we can also loot stuff. Um, okay, hang on. Let's go loot stuff if we can. Okay, make your speed. Uh, that's fine. I kind of want to go over to like the loot just to show you guys what it looks like. I make it okay, 20 degrees. Come on, let's go, guys. It's auto saving. Okay. Uh, Empire sunk. Report that. We'll get a little bit more cash, I guess. It's very slow to turn this thing, as you can see. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Keep going. Keep turning. Keep turning this big boat. All right, speed up a bit. We're going just too slow. Uh, okay, place on deck dried fish. Okay, anything else? Exotic fruit, place on deck. Okay, empty crate. Okay, well, we got a crate. That's what it is, okay? That's the, uh, what happens when you loot stuff. It puts a crate on the deck. Uh, okay, well, that's it. Now, what's it, what's it wants to do now? I guess that's it. I guess it's just uh, head back. I, did I see a message to head back? I didn't even notice anything. Uh, but let's head back, I suppose.
uh, to La Rochelle. There we go. And let's go. Um, but that's how the automatic torpedo things work. So you have your guy look and he just automatically does it and you fire. So there's a little bit of manual play there. But again, you can really do it manually, all the different things. It just takes a lot of practice. And in that mission there, I could, again, I couldn't see anything over the water, over those uh, the heaving waves. So I'm not sure how to, how they would do it unless you have to get a lot closer. Maybe it was just too far. Maybe that was a problem. I was just trying to do it from too far away. Um, again, didn't really tell me any hints about, you know, how far or close I should be. Um, but here we come back to La Rochelle. Beautiful sunny day. Uh, and yeah, it loads like a different zone there. But anyways, let's go back 140 and we'll speed watch ourselves come into port. With our, our fruit or whatever we got, canned fish. There we go, in port, we're slowing down. Mission completed, there it is. Uh, now we have this thing here. Deck storage, so let's put this into uh, our storage room. Transfer. Yes. And that's it. And deck storage. Um, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna go. Someone's gonna go over there and get it, I think, right? I think so. Now, I don't, I don't think this thing's gonna last forever on here. Like this boat, I hope not, anyways, like this box. Huh? He's not gonna do it? Transfer. Oh, he went there. Sorry, Klaus. I said the, the captain to go do it. Okay, but that's the end of this mission. Now you have to go back now to the warehouse. Um, show me what you got. And that rain is actually really loud. Let's go to fuel. You got to always refuel after every mission. Cost marks. You know, torpedoes. We use a lot of torpedoes. Just throw in some torpedoes. And stern is okay. Food. We didn't use any food, we're fine. Uh, ammo. Now ammo, we did use a bunch of rounds, but I think we should be full. Well, AP, we're full. Uh, what's this, AP? Let's put in five. Five, okay. Flat gun, we're good. And that's it. And that's the end of uh, the restock. And we'll get the next mission.